But then I want to show you something absolutely mind-blowing that I've not seen anyone else talk about using Claude and its new update, which is computer usage, right? So Claude can take control of your computer, but previously it was pretty boring because you could only use this little sort of basic computer demo, which was interesting. But let's take it up a notch because what you can see here is agent.exe and this can basically take control of my whole computer, start rummaging around based on my prompts, and then it can do all sorts of crazy stuff. Like for example, for me, it's just built a keyword research strategy, it's researched my competitors, I'll show you that in a minute. Additionally, did a whole website audit, as you can see, directly inside Ahrefs. And pretty much anything that you do, you can kind of automate with Claude now directly on your screen and just give it full control. Now, I just want to warn you, this is crazy stuff. I don't recommend this for anyone letting AI take control of your computer. But you can see here, I took the risk for you, which you can see inside Asian.exe. And from ordering a pizza to pretty much outsourcing the automating any task that a human can do, this is probably 10 times more powerful. And it can just log into any website you're already in. It's not inside a controlled container like this. And I'm going to show you how amazing it is, plus how to set it up in a minute. Let's get into it. All right. So now we're just going to do something super basic. Like, for example, let's go to google.com. And this works best in Firefox. So you can see what it's doing is it's navigating over to google.com and it's breaking this down into steps. Now, the way that this works is the agent.exe along with Claude works, tends to take screenshots and then figure out where to click and what to do, et cetera, directly from the screenshots. Now it's absolutely not 100% perfect. This is, it came out like about 24 hours ago, something like that. But you can see here that it is controlling my laptop, as you can see, I'm not touching it like that. Agent EXE is doing the magic, as you can see, I've got my hands in the air, and it's it just working this magic now, right? So something super basic like go to google.com, obviously that's not going to change your life. And for most people watching, like you can, you know how to do that, right? But now once we've fulfilled that prompt, so you can see here it says, I can confirm that I've successfully navigated to google.com. We can give it something more complex. I just want to show you how you can break this down into easy steps and what sort of stuff this can do. And we're going to gradually build this up to crazy levels later in the video. So we're going to test it now and I'll say, do some keyword research from my birds website, then go to sheets.new, fill out the details in the spreadsheet for me. And we'll hit let's go and we'll see what it does. Might break, might not. I've never tested this before. So it's navigated straight to Google. It said bird keywords for website. So Obviously, this is all typing it itself. It's all doing the research, it's going through Google, as you can see, it's scrolling through the website. It's scrolling through my browser, controlling it, as you can see. And the beautiful thing about this as well, like you don't need to code. This is a no code tool. I don't recommend it for everyone because I don't think it's very safe to do it this way, but I just want to show you how crazy this can get. And, you know, imagine over the future what this is going to be like. So you can see here now doing some Googling around birds, keywords. Now, what you can see here is that it's got a bit confused because it didn't open a new tab. So it's done the keyword research, found a bunch of keywords, but it hasn't opened it up in a new tab for sheets.new, et cetera. And so what I've done is I've created a spreadsheet on the right-hand side over here, and then I've got the keyword research for, and I'm going to say, do some keyword research on my words website, then go to Google Sheet on the right-hand side, fill it out based on your research. Right, kind of like you would get a virtual assistant to do um, if you wanted to offload and automate your keyword research, etc. So let's see what it comes back with now. So it's scrolling through Google, Sarah Little Gander, looking through some of the websites, checking out what it's got. You can see there's actually scrolled down to the people also search for section. I think that's where it's going to get its most relevant keywords from. Then it's going over to the Google Sheet. So you can see it's clicking into the Google Sheet and it's actually typing away, for example, keyword in column A. This is scary stuff. Like it's just watching an AI type on my laptop automatically. So you can see, for example, it's put best pet words for beginners as part of the keyword research. And now it's thinking about more keywords from what I can see. So it's gone back onto the spreadsheet, clicking into the sheet. And now it's, for example, typing bird cat tips, right? Now, this is a bit slow. I'll be a hundred percent honest with you. But the fact that you can just have a window open on the right hand side of your laptop, then it just goes off, fills out spreadsheets for you does all the research for you. Like you could tell it to do a task, go make a cup of tea and come back and it will already be done, right? And the difference between this and say like ChatGPT 
is that yes, chat GPT is connected to the internet, but it can't control the laps. I, I saw some people comment about that the other day. And additionally, the fact that this can scroll through the whole internet and interact with your browser, pretty crazy stuff. I also think like this is the first time I've used it. So imagine what it's going to be like after say weeks of, of testing this or trying out, etc. Very, very interesting. So you can see that it's finished up now. So it gives you a finish section over here. And bear in mind, like this program itself is free. The only thing you're paying for is the API, which is very cheap from what I've seen so far. I think I've used about $16 on the API this, this month. And I do a lot of testing with AI. So. All right. So if you want to set this up yourself, I am no coder. I had no clue what I was doing. So I used Claude to help me. Basically, you open up Terminal. So if you're on a Mac, you can just go to the spotlight and then type in terminal. That will open up this little window right here, as you can see. And then it's just a case of pasting in the commands from the page, right? And so if we copy these or paste them in, I don't recommend doing this at home. Or if you do do it, just do it on like a, a VPS just to be safe. Like I took a bit of a risk here doing it myself, honestly, on like just my whole laptop. Normally it's supposed to be inside like a, a sort of safety container. And then we're going to hit into like, so finally we will paste this in. Now, as you can see, it's loading a bit of information. And if we open this up, we can see agent.exe is ready to go. And agent.exe is what we're using to get Claude to open up the laptop, right? And just start having a little cheeky gander around. So for example, if I go onto agent.exe and I'm going to be like, okay, just something super basic, like go to google.com and then we'll hit let's go and this is basically operating on screenshots so it's taking screenshots from the mac and then it's using that to actually navigate through your browser and just start using it now this is optimal on firefox as you can see it tends to work better on firefox and it doesn't chrome other browsers but as you can see literally you just give it a basic prompt and then it will start working its magic on your actual laptop what's crazy about this is I'm not touching it. My hands are not there, but it will navigate through, for example, Firefox. So now let's step up a notch. What I've actually done is I've opened up Ahrefs on the left-hand side and we've got Google Sheets on the right-hand side with agent.exe at the bottom. And I said, inside Ahrefs, here's some SEO keyword research. The fighting some good keyword research in Ahrefs for my bird site. After that, go to my Google Sheet and fill in the details, right? Let's see, let's go and let's see what it comes back with. So now it's going into Keywords Explorer, as you can see, and it's typing in relevant keywords that it wants to rank for and, and research, etc. It's clicking on search and it's found a bunch of keywords right here. So for example, bird food, low KD, bird care, low KD as well. And it's typing in the data directly into Google Sheets. It's not the cleanest spreadsheet set up. But you can see here I was typing in keywords, monthly search volume, keyword difficulty into the sheet. And then it's typed bird food. It's grabbed the search volume from my Ahrefs. So it's put 7.2K next to bird food and keyword difficulty six. Right, so it's doing all the research, taking all the information from Ahrefs and then plugging it directly into Google Sheets. See, what would be quite interesting is if you could use this for, for example, like link building prospecting, when you've got a list of like prospects on a Google Sheet, if you scroll down the spreadsheet and be like, right, we're going to delete that. That's low quality. This site doesn't have any traffic. Let's delete that, et cetera. Um, I think it could do that pretty well because it seems to interact with Google Sheets fairly well. Not amazingly, but you can see, but it got all the keywords. You got the search volumes and got the keyword difficulty directly from Ahrefs and it put that into our sheet. Plus it did all the searching out of here for us, right? I think it's still very, very early days, very early days indeed for this technology. But I can see the potential and the power of it. And that's really what I'm excited about. Let's get it to do something else now. So we're going to get it to go through one of our AI sites and just do a little audit on Atrus. So I'm going to say inside Atrus, run through some of the metrics for oil there central, break down all the information I need to know about the site, right? So basically we just want to kind of audit the website. Add a little gander around uh, and see what it thinks. And then over here, we'll open up a new Google Doc. And inside the prompt, I'm going to say something like, summarize the key information into bullet points. Again, I don't know if any of this is going to work, 
but it's interesting to test out and try, right? So we've got the website ready to go on Site Explorer. We just need to gather the metrics and get Claude to actually do a site audit on it, right? So we'll click on let's go and let's see what it does. So it's going into the organic keywords, as you can see. Now it seems to be trying to have a cheeky gander around the backlink profile. And what you can see here is it said, if we take this breakdown as you can see, and we'll plug that directly into a Google Sheet. So it said, based on my analysis of all of central.com for Ahrefs, here are the key findings, right? So the domain overview, domain, so it's captured like the domain rating, the URL rating, it's checked how many keywords, what sort of traffic value it's going for, also what its top keywords are, what the link quality is like, what the site is about, how it's performing, and some key findings there. It hasn't formatted it nicely for me, but still, the fact that it's basically just run a full site audit from Ahrefs directly for this website on a brand new technology I haven't even figured out how to use properly yet, it's pretty interesting stuff, right? You can see the output here. So what it's done, if we just recap on this, is it said, right, I can see the information from Ahrefs, as you can see, let me check the organic keywords. After that, I'm going to analyze the backlink profile and then you've got the site audit. It did put it into a Google doc, but it did better than I expected genuinely. So my mind is blown. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to learn more stuff like this, check out the SEO Elite Circle. Link in the comments description shows you loads of cool AI stuff like this. And additionally, if you want to get a one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how to get more leads, traffic, and sales with SEO, feel free to book that in. On this link building acceleration session, we'll give you a free SEO domination lab. You'll discover the secrets of link building. We'll answer any questions you have. And learn the best link building strategy for your website because how to quickly outrank your competitors link building and how to 10x your SEO traffic based on what's working for us. If you want to get access to all the installation details, both for Claude directly inside the terminal, as you can see right here, or if you want to get the exact instructions I used for getting Claude to take control of your whole computer, then I'll include that link in the comments. Feel free to get it and appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.